Welcome, everyone, to Music Junkies, a podcast about people sharing extraordinary stories about how music has impacted their lives. Hey, 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 welcome to Music Junkies. I am super excited this afternoon to spend time with a great friend of mine, Ash. She came all the way over, what, four blocks away, walked over here, and now we're having a glass of wine, which is nice. Oh, you did? (laughs) So welcome to the show. I'm excited about this afternoon. And uh, before we get started, I just kind of wanted to know, I know you took a little bit getting your playlist together. So I was just curious on, you know, what was your inspiration when you were doing your playlist? Why did it take so long? You know, your your music is all over and I absolutely love that. Just uh, give me a little rundown on how your experience was putting this playlist together. Well, it took so long and it's all over the place <laughs> because I'm indecisive. <laughs> so, I, I just like it. I love like it. I'm pretty terrible with music taste because I will like something that doesn't really make sense or whatever because I just like it. So that's my list. It's good. I feel like a lot of these songs you work out to. Definitely. Right? Definitely. You're big on health. Well, I... Working I, out. I, yes. I, I am big on health, but I also am big on eating food that I like to taste of. <laughs> that's awesome. So you're from Australia. Originally. Originally. When did you move to Canada? 2013. Oh, so just recently. That was a long time ago. <laughs> 2020. It's like three three years ago. Feels what? like it. I feel like it COVID we were in. Years ago. <laughs> I feel like COVID kept us in a time warp. Yes. Yeah, we should get those two years back. I know. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Not get older. <laughs> Take the wrinkles back. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, your biggest struggle during COVID? It hasn't been, honestly, it hasn't been too bad. That's good. For me. So I have been very fortunate because I can still work. Yeah. Um, haven't had a disruption to that. It's been extremely busy, which is like it's hard, but you know, it's good. Yeah. Um, I, well, all my family's in Australia anyway, so uh, we video chat or call fairly regularly. And I think I've been a bit better with that. Yeah. <laughs> actually. And, and so you were probably were already used to the video chat then. It yeah. wasn't like new to you. Like, so yeah. many others that were like, how the hell do you do this? Yeah. And <laughs> I'm okay with being outside in the cold too. So I just rug up and go for a walk with friends. So I still yeah. saw people in person while we're allowed to because it's outside. And yeah, it, like it has been hard because you can't see as many people and you can't get together for something. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I've like just seen some, some friends who like have had big first, like their pregnancy or whatever, yeah. and don't get to share that with their family. So I don't feel like I missed out on a huge thing like some people really have. Um, it's been stressful to think about like the difficulty of getting back to see family be- mm-hmm. just because like it's, it's hard enough with all the restrictions and you're not allowed right. to travel unless it's for work and essential. Um, and Australia's rules are very, very strict. So thinking about that is stressful, but I had just seen them. Yeah, 2019. So. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, so hey. really lucky. Yay! <laughs> complain. Good. I love to hear that. It's nice. It's nice to hear a positive story, right? So many people just focus on the negative. So I like that you put a positive spin. We are going to start with your first song. Are you ready? Yes. I'm excited. One, two, three, go! Yeah, baby, go! Yeah, baby, go. Right? Some outcast. Yes. Right? So why do you love that song? Well, it backup is great. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Um, but also that was, so this is probably going to make no sense to people who are not Australian, but it was the Schoolies Week song oh, okay. as well. So it's like at the end of year 12, it's kind of like spring break in Australia. It's called Schoolies Week. Everyone oh. goes to the Gold Coast, just gets trashed and misbehaves without parents. So, so this song is from there. Yeah, that's when it came out that year, and yeah. I was playing at all of the clubs we went to. And the I love cruise, it. cruise and yeah. That, so yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Did you meet um, Gav like during high school? No, no, no. I was twenty-two. Oh, okay, so you had a different boyfriend in in high school. Yeah, yeah. And so, how I'm much different? Serious, <laughs> <laughs> a three-monther, or how old, how long were you with the? 
Oh. Boyfriend in high school. Less than a year. Oh, okay. But Night and day though yeah. between Gav and him, or yeah. kind of yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was he was a pharmacy student. Oh. There. So yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. Did Gav ever meet him or no? No, no I didn't <laughs> say friends with exes. No. <laughs> Goodbye. Forever. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so you met you met him at twenty two. Wow. Yeah. And then when did you get married? In twenty twelve. Twenty twenty twelve. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. And then yeah, less than a year later we moved here. Yay! <laughs> That's exciting. Those are like big milestones, right? Mm -hmm. Marriage and then a, a massive move. It's not like you're moving from Calgary to Edmonton. Like well, it wasn't meant to be permanent. <laughs> it, was a, it was a vacation. <laughs> what brought you to Canada? Like what, like you just wanted to visit, like where yeah. here, like in well, we, we Alberta just, or? Yeah, we were just gonna come to Calgary to visit some friends and then Gavin saw that we could do the two year working holiday. Yeah. And both of us at the time, like we had pretty decent jobs, but it, we just like sort of started in a different role and it got changed. Like I was doing HR, but then had to move into more of a safety role and safety is so boring. I hate it so much. <laughs> so I was like, eh, got to look for a new job. And um, Gavin's the opposite. He was working in safety, which he loved and then was more on the like supervisory side. Yeah. So like some of the safety functions he wasn't doing as much and that's more where his interest and skill was. So we were both kind of like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, like, it, it, we worked for a great company, but we weren't really in a career development role that we wanted. And so both of us were like, "Well, we're still young. Let's we're go." Still in our twenties. We're like, "Why not? Like, let's go have some fun." Yeah. Yeah, That's I love it. It's awesome. I'm glad because then we get we got to meet. Yes. That's right. It's awesome. Right. You ready for your next song? Yes. Your playlist was so fun. I love it. <laughs> it was all over the place, which I love. <laughs> So we go from like crazy dance to like tool, right? Yes. So tell me a little bit about that song. Why that song is on here? What kind of memories you have from that? So that one, um, I definitely have a love for like heavy metal and like rock music. But, yeah. But I am not, I'm not a proper fan. Like I don't know <laughs> the bands very well. I, I have seen Tool live since we moved here. They were amazing. Absolutely loved it. Um, but Gavin used to listen to Tool a lot when we first met, and I just, I just love them. I'm like, oh, that's who sings this song that I love. <laughs> and it's just a random song yeah. before. I'm like, okay, it's this artist, and now I love them, and we played it all the time. And that song we actually had play at our wedding when we made our like entrance into the reception Oh, hall. that's so, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. What was your favorite concert you ever been to? Oh, oh that's tough. Because I know um, you've been to a lot of festivals. Yeah, so the festivals definitely are highlights. Probably Missy Elliott. Yeah? Yeah, I just love her. So tell me yeah. like, about the stage presence. Was it just her or did she have like a big... She, yeah, she had all like dances, but it wasn't... It wasn't that much of like the set, it was her yeah. dances and her, and she actually had like laryngitis or something that night wow. that still performed wow. and was still amazing. That's so, impressive. Yeah. And when, when did you see her? In Australia. Oh, wow. In, oh, it must have been like, I can't remember if it was before or after I started dating Gavin. <laughs> late, late, like 2000s, okay. maybe 2010. Nice. Have you seen any amazing concerts since you've been in Canada? Yeah, so Tool. Yeah. Um, I haven't been to like many. We had a few booked the year we had to renew our work permits. And we got an, it turned out that it was an error, but we got a rejection message with our work permit renewal and left. So we had to bail on this concert we were supposed Aww. to see. Um, who did we have booked? There are a few kind of random ones, more of Gavin's choices, but uh, we saw Godsmack in Edmonton. Oh, fun. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, we haven't been to, there's a, there's a lot that I would have wanted to see here that Gavin would not go with me. <laughs> <laughs> so. he, he likes heavy metal as well. 
yeah, that's kind yeah, of Yeah, we went to Metallica on my birthday, like the nice. first year that we were together because no that was, he was going. So if I wanted to spend my birthday with him, that was what It's like, I'm going to Metallica, you gotta come. Exactly. But they were <laughs> really it. good too. I've never seen them. I've always wanted to see yeah. them and I grew up being a huge Metallica fan and no, I didn't see the, you know, I grew up on the island, mm -hmm. Vancouver Island, and I'm sure they came to Vancouver a lot. But I don't no, think no. I ever really remember it when I moved to Calgary. I don't think I ever remember them coming to Alberta at all. Oh. Maybe yeah. I don't. I don't ever really well, remember. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the big, big bands and big tours at Edmonton rather than here. Yeah, but we've we've made the trip up. Oh, I remember one time I think actually I think we were going to go again, but it was one of the ones we missed out on. Yeah, they're amazing. I love them. So your next dance song is pretty cool. I love it. This song, when I was listening, I've never heard it. No. It made me laugh like so much. I was yes. howling because it was so random. Isn't it about strawberries or something? Oh no, the, uh, that's yeah. that other one. I was like, what is happening? I love it. So tell me a little bit about why you love that song. It's just great. It's yeah. fun to dance to. And there is another cabin story about this one. Actually, it was like we were first. First dating, we used to go to clubs a lot and get really, really hammy. <laughs> and I was doing sexy hair flick back while we were waiting <laughs> to get drinks, and I plucked him right in the head, right in the face, <laughs> with my hair, like not hair, with my head. So, That's hilarious. Yeah. What's the most um, romantic thing Gavs ever did for you? Oh, I don't know. He's not very romantic. He's not romantic. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not great to be romantic with though. Like he, he used to buy flowers a fair bit, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> it's just like no more flowers for you. Yeah, no. But he, when I went to Australia the last time, actually, he didn't go, and so he like picked me up from the airport, and he bought all of my favorite Canadian snacks. I was only away oh, for a couple of weeks. That's but, awesome. Yeah, but he that's does nice. like little things like that. Yeah, all the time. little that's things. That's good. I love that appreciation. Yeah. Yeah. It's the thoughts and appreciations, which I love. So growing up in Australia, what was your favorite family vacation? Oh, I went, well, my parents separated when I was 17. So I feel bad picking one that they went both on. Actually, both of them took me on a really amazing ski trip. Oh, nice. So my dad had a friend at golf that has a lodge at Falls Creek. So we went snowboarding for a week and got to stay in this like wicked lodge right on the hill. So that was really awesome. And my mom, for her 50th birthday, I think, decided she wanted to go to New Zealand. So she took me and my brothers and wow. went on a snowboarding trip. Yeah. And yeah, we stayed in Queenstown for a week and went. So there's like four or five different mountains just around. It's kind of like going to Banff. Yeah. Um, well, the New Zealand equivalent of going there. You're like in this little cute little ski town, but the right. mountains are all around. Um, and yeah, as a thank you, my brothers and I took her bungee jumping. Oh, so, really? Yeah. That's awesome for her 50th. Yeah. How'd she do up there? <laughs> oh, she was fine. She's yeah. so keen. Yeah. She's I'm mad. afraid of heights. Are you afraid of anything? Um, they're, they're all ridiculous. Let's hear them. <laughs> but, well, zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're not real. <laughs> Love it. Zombies are real. <laughs> I feel like terrible. we're living in a zombie apocalypse right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Gavin took me to see World War Z. And I'm like, oh yeah, we'll go see it in Brad Pitt movie. Sounds good. And then we're like sitting in there after the credits. And I was like, zombie movies are terrifying. I hate them. And he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... Getting walked in on the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> that does not happen here, really, although I was in the bathroom at a wedding and the like lock was broken or something. And it was like, of course, wore a dress that had like the shorts in it because it was like really short. And so like completely like stripped down and someone's like kicked the door open. <laughs> like, How? Hello, I'm totally naked. Yeah, basically. So. That's why I don't like wearing rompers or something like yeah, that when I, I go know, out. Because I'm like you're totally naked. Yeah. So, Taking a pee. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not ridiculous. <laughs> it's not ridiculous. 
with all the crazy stuff that you grew up with in Australia, <laughs> right? No spiders yeah. or but you know snakes. It's like whatever. I don't even want well, somebody to come walking in on me in the bathroom. <laughs> well, so in Australia, you don't really have locks on the bathroom in houses. It's like here, everything has locks. It's so nice. <laughs> but there, it's like. I'm just like, if the door is closed to the bathroom, you just don't go near it. You wait and see if it opens later. Yeah. <laughs> like, if it's, you just leave it ajar so that people know that it's free. Yeah. Because, like, there's no lock, so you don't want to be walking on someone. And I've been walking on so many times. It's become <laughs> a fear. So, would you consider yourself a good singer? No. No? No. Not even, like, do you feel like you're good when you're driving the car and your favorite song comes on? Or do you sing in the shower at all? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. But in the car, I just turn the music up so that I can't hear myself screeching while I try to like belt out. <laughs> I uh, I don't know about you, but I have a song and it's by Cheryl Crow and it's strong enough. I feel like I'm amazing just when I sing that song. No other song. It's like my go-to song. Yeah. If I want to like you know feel empowered. Um, do you have a song like that where you're like, oh, I sound just like her. This is my jam. Mm -hmm. No, no, <laughs> no, no, nothing. My like favorite that. one to sing along to is Mariah Carey's Fantasy. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not on my list. I was like, oh, you just be good in there. We used to have a really good friend of ours, Adam, who loved Mariah Carey, like Which obsessed with Mar Mariah Carey. So he used to listen to her all the time, which is so funny. Mm -hmm. All right, this song I have never heard before either, and it's really good. Bartender. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah, yeah it's really fun. Yeah. So, well, who doesn't like T-Pain? It's <laughs> always fun. <laughs> That's right. So why do you like that song? Does it remind you of a bartender? Yeah, me. Oh, oh bartender. Yeah. Yeah. And then and my husband fell in love with me. That's right, while well, you're a bartender. Yeah. Yeah, he tells me that he was like trying to chat me up, and I'm like, no, we met after I'd left that job. <laughs> so I don't remember at all. So tell me how you guys met. Oh, well, we, we have a mutual friend, and I was going out with her for a girls' night, and I was like halfway through getting ready, like one and a half wax legs. And like, she's like, oh, you're just gonna come down to this like pizza place or whatever that was down the street. She's like, we'll grab some food. And then we'll like go back to lunch, finish getting ready. I'm like, oh yeah. So I like messy hair, no makeup, and half a waxed leg. And, then, <laughs> and I had briefly met him at like her birthday or something, but not talked to him. I was driving that night. I had yeah. much courage. So yeah, but he was there. And so I'm like, damn it, Nicole's hot friend is here. And I have no makeup. And we, yeah, so then we went and grabbed food and went back to Nicole's. And he was like, oh, I'm coming with you. So... Then I finished getting ready, and he was like, oh, wow. <laughs> and, yeah, we kissed on the dance floor at the CD nightclub and like, local nightclub. So how long did it take you before you guys banged after you met? Not that long. Like, I told my mom. <laughs> like 24 hours, same I night. I night. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I waited one night. How long? Mm -hmm. Two on nights? A, it was like three dates. Three dates. So yeah. three days. No. <laughs> Maybe three weeks. <laughs> you know, you, like you had to like not text each other immediately. So we we like kissed in my car later that night. Like <laughs> like he honked the horn with his butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you guys yeah. met and kissed in the car, did you think that he would be the one that you would marry? No, I don't think about marriage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was pretty happy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess my friend's hot friend. That's right. <laughs> I love it. You gotta like that. Yeah. So when you were when you were growing up, what did you want to be? Uh, I wanted to play Australian rules football. Okay. Which I did for one year when I was fourteen. Nice. Yeah, I was not very good. <laughs> now, what position did you play? Whatever they put me. <laughs> I think I was like a winger. Okay. Awesome. 18 players on the field on each team yeah. for Aussie football. It's like, it's massive. Yeah. And yeah. So is it different than, well, it's, is it really different from rugby? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. You have a similar shaped ball to like Canadian football, but you like kick the ball to each other. Oh, okay. Or you have to hand pass it. You can't like throw it. It has 
to be like the closed fist to pass. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and then so you gotta kick it to each other, and if you catch it on the full, you can take a set shot and stuff. It's yeah. and there's tackling. It's very contact sport. So, do you get offended when people call that football the same as American football? Not offended. Mm. I guess I wouldn't say offended, but when somebody says you know like football, and you're like, eh. Mm. Well, Aussie. real football is soccer, so I, I leave that. Sure. I just Australian football is Aussie rules. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd like to go see a game. You should. It is. Yeah, fun. I feel like the crowd would be insane, and just the atmosphere would be a lot of fun. That's yeah. why I really like to go see for sure. Yeah, actually, where I grew up, they have like it's one of the biggest capacity stadiums in the oh, world. It's like ninety six thousand wow. or something. And have you seen a game there or a concert there? I've seen a few games there. Wow. And I've been on that field because they used to let you, like when I was really little, they used to let everyone jump on the field at the end of the game. Now you can't touch that grass. It's like special grass. Really? You're not allowed to go with it anymore. <laughs> they don't want anybody touching it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is one of my favorite songs. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. We had... Uh, I, I can't even remember that. I think it was maybe three, four years ago. We rented a a van or a bus and went to Aussie Rules, and oh yeah, we had a stripper pole in there, and everybody yes. got a song, and one of my girlfriends got this song, and she had to dance yes. to this song. Yeah, it's a fun song. It is so fun. I, I can see you working out to this song. Always. Yeah, I made a playlist called Obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So is this why you like the song, or is there a story behind it? No, it just like came up on my Spotify one time, and I was like, like, and then I was like, my like list has become like 700 and Yeah, songs, I know. So it, it went on to Obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> Does Gav like dance music at all? Um, yeah, some. Yeah. Some. Like, he's, he actually bought concert tickets for me to, oh. a, to like a dancey kind of like an Australian band. Yeah. Um, but that cancelled that show got like postponed or cancelled or something. I think it was postponed and we were moving here, so he got out of it. It wasn't his favourite, but <laughs> there's a couple that he liked. Yeah. He doesn't mind that one. What's your favorite female artist? Oh probably Mariah Carey. Yeah? Yeah, or well, Missy Elliott. Yeah. And have you ever seen Mariah Carey or no? <laughs> I don't even again, I don't remember ever being around if she's too but I guess if you don't listen to the music very much you don't really yeah. watch who's kind of I'm terrible for looking at who is touring as well like I never look it up it's always like oh this person's in town that like one of my friends will say or Gavin will say yeah I was like yeah I want to go but I never look it up ever is there a, a secret band that Gav likes that he doesn't want anybody to know uh, probably not no, he... It's pretty open with the music he likes. I know yeah. some guys are like, don't tell anybody that I like in sync or yeah. somebody, you know? Yeah. Well, actually, he and, like, Ryan and a couple of the guys have started to kind of like Justin Timberlake. Oh. But only for the work he's done with Lonely Island. Because <laughs> it's so funny. And he's he's excellent. He's very, very funny. Yeah. And yeah. talented. Yeah, we've seen Lonely Island, actually. Um at uh, Santa Monica Pier. Oh, wow. We went to Comedy Festival Supreme. And, uh, yeah, they were amazing. They were so good. It was kind of the era where YouTube was just kind of, I don't want to say coming out, but they had all those crazy videos. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. And all these crazy sayings. And they all came out. And then Lonely Island came out. And Jack Black and Adam Sandler. And, yeah, it was like Sarah Silverman. It was like... An, out of control, like Billy Idol, there was, there was um, so many bands there. And it was all comedians that had music bands, like, yeah. you know, the girls from, the girl from Bridesmaid, she has a, a band called Princess, yeah, and she does all Prince covers. She's amazing, like amazing. And uh, Hollow Notes, their daughters do have a band, and it's like yeah. crazy off the wall, Lots of fun. Yeah, so much. We had a blast. Yeah, it was it was tons of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Nice. 
sometimes it, I just put on Lonely Island and shuffle through <laughs> all of my songs when we do that in my workout. What's your favorite Lonely Island song? Oh, probably Jizz in My Pants. Is it? <laughs> Uh, one of my favorites on a, I'm on a boat. When we bought a boat, yeah. we listened to that song every time, and then the kids would yeah. laugh because they'd be like, "Oh my god, we get to sing this song!" And, yeah. And we used to listen to that song all the time when we got on a boat. Yeah. I'd be like, "This is we're on the boat. We're listening to this song." So yeah, it's they're hilarious. They're yes. Hilarious. So um, this song's called Birthday Sex. Mm-hmm. All right, it's a good remix. I'm sure you've had birthday sex before. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't? Who hasn't? Exactly. What about like birthday sex? Now you look back and go, oh God, I never want to have birthday sex with that person again. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Where is this so long ago? I've been married forever. <laughs> How long have you been married for? Uh, nine years, eight or nine years. How long have you guys been yeah. together? So married um, nine. Yeah, so together six, 13. Nice. 2008, isn't it? What's your biggest pet peeve? What, with anything? Yeah. With Gavin. <laughs> we can ask that one later, but yeah, with anything. Oh. Uh, well, at work, I hate it when people expect an HR person to know all about health and safety. Because I don't. And it's boring. <laughs> it's just it's so different. Yeah. So, that annoys me. And on job ads where it's like, you should have this many years experience. It's like, yeah, you could be doing the most boring job ever for 10 years and you don't know what you're doing. That's so, <laughs> so true. And so, I think it's discriminatory because it, it, it eliminates anyone that's like not old enough to have done whatever qualification they need to plus get those years of experience. Yeah. So it discriminates against younger people. And it's very arbitrary. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Sorry, that was super serious. But that's, that's like, that's like <laughs> if, if that's your peeve, that's your peeve. <laughs> what about Gav? What's your biggest pet peeve with Gav? Uh, he just doesn't give straight answers, and it's like oh. stupid things. Like he'll be give me an example. Dinner. Yeah, so you're making dinner because he he's a great cook, and I'm like, oh, what you doing? And he's like, cooking. <laughs> what are you making? Food. What food are you making? Dinner. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Speaking of that, I was literally in the shower this morning and I don't know if you've ever heard of these boxes. They're like uh, uh, Loet boxes or they're just these boxes that come, you pay 50 bucks and they're like full of all these like fun oh, little like, things like for your face or yeah. all these new trends that are coming out. I have out. a different one. Though. Yeah. Obsessed. So yeah. <laughs> I love them. Mm-hmm. I got one for my birthday in March. Absolutely loved it. And then I just went and subscribed to it. So I keep forgetting. It comes on the eighth of the month, and I keep forgetting. And so I got one, and it had this blueberry facial sugar scrub. Amazing. Mm. But I don't really do creams and makeup a lot, so it's just been sitting there. So I felt bad. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna bring it in the shower and yeah. scrub my body down. So I'm literally said to Tyler, "Hey, that silver. I'm in the shower. I'm like, that silver container. Can you pass me that?" And he's like. <laughs> Oh, like the, and he points out like a scrunchie. I'm like, no. And then he points out a toothbrush. I'm like, no. Like I'm starting to get like agitated. Yeah, because you were very clear on your instructions. I'm like silver. You know how like something's just not coming out. I'm just like, I'm like really, dude. He's but he was fucking with me. You know, I was just like, of oh course. my god, I want to strangle you. Mm. Took the fun. I was like gonna have this nice relaxing shower. Now I'm at a nine and I gotta come back down. Yes, and this is why when someone is murdered, they always investigate the steps. My biggest pet peeve of Tyler's eating. I feel like he has no insulation in his mouth. What? Yeah, like I can hear it. it. And I never used to after 21 years. I'm like, dude, I feel like I'm going to have to rip your juggler up. (laughs) Please stop eating. Uh, And it's always like, we're going to have Mrs. Vicky's chips and watch a movie. I'm like, really? That's your snack choice for the movie? The <laughs> loudest need... chip on the fucking planet? That's why you need subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I do this, plug my ear, and I can't handle it. I always say, I'm just going to, I'll be back. I'm yeah. gonna... <laughs> We're in the opposite, because if I have chips, like I suddenly, I'm like, look over, and he's just like, staring at me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't handle it. I can't handle it. That's so awesome. Good song. Hey, so different. I love it. Get back. That's ludicrous. Yeah. Such a, yeah, your playlist is awesome. I love it. Okay, why do you like that song? Ludicrous is amazing. Yeah, you like him a lot? Yeah. I haven't listened to a lot of his stuff, I'll be honest. Um, I only know a few songs, so. I probably only really know a few as well. Yeah. Yeah, like never get sick of them. That one, also listen to a lot with working out. It's on the obsessed list. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I love this obsessed yeah. list. You have mm -hmm. to send it to me. I will, yeah. Yeah, just, and like, you know, you have to shake your booty in between sets. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of shaking your booty, let's say you were a stripper. Do you have a stripper just, name that you would use? Oh. I No, I never made one up. You didn't? No. Let's try to make one up. Yeah. Um, well, my, my snowboarding nickname for like on the walkie talkies was Peep Show. Oh, <laughs> that's a great name. <laughs> because, so I guess that would work as a stripper name. So it was because we were like at lunch and you know, like everyone's like sitting at the table and I like had walked in, but my <laughs> zipper came down. <laughs> and so it's like the crutch is that face height for everybody with the zipper down and therefore Peep Show. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Oh God. Besides like the 8 billion times I've been walked in on the bathroom. <laughs> Besides those times. Oh, that's a hard one. I try to block those. <laughs> no more nightmares. Uh, I don't know. I like, I made a really funny joke to our IT team once and like the three of them just sat there. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I ran. <laughs> that was pretty They just stone stonewalled you when oh, you yeah. made a joke. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's funny how there's people like that. I always feel like super awkward after that. I'm like, oh really? Yeah. I thought it was actually pretty funny, but I guess not. I know it was an awesome. But I can't remember it now, but I was like, all right, see ya, <laughs> gone. <laughs> and then you got to phone somebody right after because then you got to tell them the same thing just to prove that it was funny, oh. but they don't know you, and now your friend knows you, so she knows that you're funny. That's usually what I do. I say yes. to tell her, I'm like, they didn't laugh, but this is what I said. And I, he might just laugh to make me feel better, but I generally oh he's, he's a good one. <laughs> he's, he's a good one. He's a good one. So if I was to ask somebody about you, like, what are you known for? Working out and snowboarding. Yeah. I don't know. Starbucks every day. <laughs> Not every day. I've been better since COVID. That's actually, that's been one of the other good things is I've just like. No Starbucks. Not gone. Not no Starbucks, come on now. <laughs> um, do you do, drink a lot of coffee? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we have an espresso machine at home. Oh, wow. So I can make a fancy one. Yeah. I have it while I'm like proofing boring documents. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I've never, I never got into coffee. <gasps> I didn't until I moved here. It was Starbucks like mochas that got me. Oh, really? I should try yeah. one. I'm in like a chai tea latte yeah. kind of person. Yeah, I, I still don't drink tea unless I'm like sick. Because people will be like, you have to have this like herbal one, and they smell really nice because they're like all flowers or fruit or something, and they're always good. But I'm just like, tea? No, I want a real coffee. <laughs> <laughs> What's your drink of choice? Oh, on the yeah. alcohol side. Oh, alcohol. Uh, What's your go-to? I, I don't drink much anymore. So yeah, like I was always cocktails. So like I sweet, mostly. Although what I love is um, the park has a drink called the Italian Bulldog, oh. which is like a piccolo and you can get whatever flavor slush you like. Oh, also nice. Like strawberry, so it's really good. That is good. Yeah, so if I'm like, I'm going to go out for a drink, it's like, let's go find that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So here we're going to play this Wild Strawberries. I this song, it. like honestly, I... Eat a little in my pants, like it made me laugh so much. Like it was just so random. Yeah. Wild strawberry. This song is, yeah. Like honestly, I looked at the playlist again because I, you know, I'm running through your playlist and I listened to it for a couple days where I could just kind of get a feel for the, mu the, the music. Oh, yeah. And I don't remember listening to that song ever. So today, when I was listening to your playlist and that song came on, I literally had to go back and make sure. That it was on, I looked like four times because I was yeah. like, this is such a random song yeah. and I've never heard it and I've already listened to your playlist like four times and I'm like, oh, this is crazy. But 
Yeah, I, I want to know where you found this song and what <laughs> does this song mean to you? So they're, they're an Australian band as well. I saw them at a festival, like just a really small one that was at the local race course where I grew up. And I went there, I went there by myself because like Gavin didn't want to go to it. Yeah. And we've been dating a while, I think. And then like most of my high school friends didn't want to go. I was like, no, I'm going because the presets were playing. And I was pretty obsessed with them. They're another like Australian kind of dance yeah. band. And these guys were on right before them. So I was like beelining there early. I was like, I'll just check out these guys. I have no idea who they are. And this was the first song that they played. And the guy who the like lead singer comes out and he like walked into like a hanging light or a speaker or something on his way. He's just oh. like dripping blood <laughs> from his head and just like rocking out. And then he's like, oh no, <laughs> I hit my head on something. And then just continued on with the set. And they were excellent. Like they were really, really great, really fun. And obviously lots of like, yeah. fun to listen yeah. to. <laughs> Different. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah, they were, they warped my mind. I was like, <laughs> and I right away added it to one of my, I have a, a playlist and I'm just adding everybody's songs that I haven't heard yeah. that I really like. So I'm like right away adding that song. I'm like, yeah, I love this song. It's awesome. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you met, you know, before Gav, have you ever slept with somebody that you woke up and you're like, oh my God, like you like got to get out. Right away, you know they look yeah, good from afar. Yeah, but I used to like and drive me home as you well. You did? Like, it's like, well, how the hell am I gonna get home? <laughs> I'm in the boonies. Take me out of I don't know where I am. <laughs> I love it. That was before smartphones. Yeah. Like, iPhone came out, and Gavin and I had already been dating for a while, and like. I had my, I had a prepaid phone when I met him. He's like, you're an adult, you need to get a plan and you're going to get an iPhone and whatever. And I was like, I like this though. And like, yeah, so I had no GPS or anything. I don't know how I got anywhere. Jeez, we didn't, I didn't even have phones growing up. Like a flip phone yeah. or anything like that. How, how do you find your friends? I always took my own vehicle. <laughs> okay. No matter what the situation was, yeah. which is very bad because sometimes mm. it was a bad situation driving. But I always drove my car, right? And I was already, I was already in my realm, right? Yeah. We're going to my house, and then I can kick you out. Right? You have to That's go. Fair. I've walked a lot of places because, <laughs> like, I would, I would just walk down to the local nightclub because, like, there were two, and one I worked at for a long time, and then I knew all the bouncers because they used the same bouncers. Yeah. So it's like I can get in anywhere. And like sometimes you know that you well you know you kind of know the regulars you know what they drink anyway yeah <laughs> and then you get a ride to somewhere else and then maybe you go home with someone and then you're like I walked to the first place <laughs> now what do I do I'm 90 miles from home how do I get home I don't know I always made it out <laughs> still here that's okay so let's talk about your mother-in-law yeah. what what animal would she remind you of? That's a hard one. Probably cat. She yeah. does a very good cat's eye with her okay. eyeliner. And she has a lot of cats. <laughs> How many cats does she have? I don't know. There were really? four and then there were a lot more. Wow. Yeah. And do you get along with your mother in law? Yeah, she's wonderful. That's awesome. That's yeah. good. I know another one where I'm like super lucky everyone yeah. knows about the monster in law and mine's great <laughs> that's good that's refreshing most people kind of say that yeah right hmm. what what animal would you be me yeah i well whenever like this this question's come up in like high school and um and university when you do it like I yeah know, those, what are they called icebreaker games and stuff and it was always tiger yeah i love them yeah. Have you ever seen one besides like in, in like the zoo in or something? Zoo. Yeah. 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 I did a project on them in grade school. Oh, you did? Yeah. It was cool but depressing because they're like going extinct. I think I had to draw an animal or something like that in grade six. And I yeah. had, I don't know what, they weren't encyclopedias, but they were silver and they were like an animal book that my grandma bought me. And I remember tracing a tiger. 
Mm. <laughs> it's, I mean, that's my school project to trace. Right? You are meant to trace it. I'm, meant to freehand. <laughs> I'm not a good freehander. <laughs> not on drawing, anyways, but. You did all right in the picture. <laughs> oh, oh, man. And that was on the, the I am so well, good at virtually. Pictionary. I think it's more mm. the mannerisms that people are like, oh. Then if you have a good connection, I can kill it in Pictionary. There's no word. No. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I love that <laughs> game. That's a fun game. Yeah, actually, my mom got it for me the last time I was back for Christmas, which was like 2015. And she got that. That was like in my Christmas gifts, and we played it after. And so it was mom and her boyfriend and his son. And so, like, we're against each other. And the first one, he's like looking at he's like, oh, he's never going to get this. And he starts drawing, and I'm like, popsicle. <laughs> and it was, but in Australia, we call that an icy pole. So my mom's like, you cheated. Why would you call it that? Why would you say that first? And I'm like, I've been in Canada for years. Yeah, you gotta use, <laughs> gotta change the lingo, right? Gotta change the lingo. Yeah. I have some good questions here that, um, how would you explain uh, Gav in one word? One? Yeah. Gav? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's it, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> so, who made the first move when you guys were dating? Um, him? Yeah? I think, yeah. Do you usually yeah. make the first move or you, yeah. no? Well, usually. That was when I was like in my early 20s that I met him and that was when it was like, no, it's hard to get. You need to work for it. All of them. I think, I don't know, I used to like sometimes get drunk enough to be like, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do a little kiss with you. Yeah. <laughs> like with this song. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah. This is uh, an amazing song. Amazing. Is this like your favorite? Uh, is this being 90s maybe? 90s jam? Yeah, but it's like, I didn't listen to it a ton. Yeah. Like I, I did, because it'd be on the radio a fair bit. Yeah. I could listen to it then, but I didn't have it on an album or a CD or anything like that. So, so why do you love that song so much? This is just so fun to dance to. It is a good song to dance to. Have you ever seen the movie Rockstar? No, I don't think so. You have to watch it. I have to? Yeah. So Marky Mark. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah. I have seen it. It's and have you seen the end where they make fun of them to this song? Right? Yeah. Where they're all, eh. yeah. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a hero? Childhood hero or somebody that you feel is your hero that you respect or admire? Or... Oh, they could be living yeah. or dead. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, that's. Hard one. Like I have a lot of really good role models in my family. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, like. So who would be one of your top role models in your family? Oh, like it's it's hard to pick. My grandma is pretty impressive. Yeah? She like for like nineteen twenty no nineteen thirty forties housewife I guess like she was like became a nurse because like that was the job that women could get and she then went back to university so she was like one of the first in our family to like graduate from university oh, that's good. like and she worked full time that entire time studied full time raised three kids and i'm like where did you sleep yeah that's crazy <laughs> so, yeah and and like my she is a little old-fashioned and my grandfather is very old-fashioned and so she's kind of inspiring that she was yeah. like so i guess independent and intelligent and strong-minded and organized she must have been so organized i wish i picked up that trait <laughs> <laughs> do you have some bad habits what are your bad habits oh so many yeah name two um like too much time on social media yeah okay wasting time on my phone when i should be doing so you go down stuff. the rabbit hole quite often oh easily oh yeah i think you and 90 percent of the population so easy <laughs> too right yeah. And you, you observed one today. I'm late to everything. And I hate that so much. I'm like, plan to be 15 minutes early when I'm doing something. But then I'm always like, if I have a minute to spare, it's like, oh, I need to get this thing done. It takes five minutes, but I can do it in a minute because I'm crazy. So <laughs> that and no concept of time. Or, no. Yeah, I hate being late, but I'm 
I'm usually early to work. That's but a good I, like, thing. I have an alarm that says log in now and it's 15 minutes early. I'm like, oh shit, I better like finish <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is the last song already. I can't believe it. Ready? Yeah. This is a great drinking song too. Oh yeah. Such a good song. Say why you love that? Just being out in the club and hearing that song or? Yes. So I actually was obsessed with the remix that Fat Man Scoop did. So I like, used to listen to that constantly and then I came across this Faith Evans original and I love it more. <laughs> so it's on my loved list and just listen to it like, yeah, every few days. Yeah. Jam out. I love it. Yeah. I always like to ask this question because I'm always curious and I think it's, it's a powerful question, but if you were to give somebody a piece of advice, maybe your 20 year old self or somebody that was maybe listening from the life that you lived and grew up and the experiences that you've had, what is some advice that you would give to you or, or somebody younger than you? That is a really hard one. Um, I guess, I probably need to think about it a whole lot more, but off the top of my head, definitely like be true to yourself. So like speak your mind, like you don't need to offend people, but you should say what you think and what you feel because I think not enough people do and yeah. it leads to misunderstandings and you won't be happy. Like you should be yourself and the people who want to be around you will truly want to be around you because if you're pretending to be something to have friends or a partner or whatever, then it's like it is exhausting. It's exhausting to pretend to be something that you're not. Yeah. And it's really disappointing because then, like, when you are yourself and you're, I don't know, not deserted. Not that that's happened, but like, <laughs> you know, like, when you're when disappointed you're yourself, yeah. your expectations are so high. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I've been asking that question a lot, and it's amazing how many people say, the exact thing that you're saying, just in a different way. Yeah. Just be true to yourself, speak your mind, don't care what other people think, yeah. just be yourself. And I think more people need to hear that. Like, it's funny that it's being, I ask that question and everybody's saying the exact same thing, but yet yeah. we live in this world that people feel like they can't be themselves. And that is, it's just really sad. It is. It is really, really sad, you know. And I love that you, I love that you said that. So Ash, I just want to thank you, right? Thank you for joining us on Music Junkies today. It was amazing. It was fun. Even though Bane was a little asshole. I didn't even notice. <laughs> He's so cute. Click, 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 walking around the floor. Oh, well, that's why I want it live and raw and real and yeah. no editing and just Is like... that your pet peeve? <laughs> <laughs> My pet peeve yeah, is Tyler has no insulation and I can't handle lazy people. I can't handle it. Yeah. Like if people are really lazy and have no motivation to do anything, I just, I don't know, I can't deal with that. I don't do well yeah. with it. Welcome everyone to Music Junkies, a podcast about people sharing extraordinary stories about how music has impacted their lives.